I think, Paul, you look like a paper chain to start. <laughs> So I had a whole slideshow, but given time and given we've okay, been doing okay. very well with the formal delivery on the Whatever works for you. Yeah. So, like I know, I'm next month I'm 42 years old. Um, my history as a major is the first 30 years I didn't have a clue. I was very good when I was joking, taking things apart and then not knowing how to put them back together. My brother made me type in programs on the ZX81 when I was this high. I didn't learn anything about programming from it. Then, when drones started getting popular when I, was, when I was about 30, but they were still thousands of pounds, me and a few friends decided we were going to try and build our own because of this thing called AliExpress on the internet. And that's when we started becoming aware of making, that was around 2006, so it was the perfect time to get into it. It was just as it was growing, and that just kind of, me and my friend John, we kind of got into it. Before we'd been into startups, we made the journey from being kind of Page per hour to be salaried to kind of going out of that, becoming freelance to doing startups to being obsessed about how, start how startups work and how a viable business is run or run badly or run well or how nobody knows how they run it and they just got lucky, which definitely applies to most of the people we know. Um, uh, and now we have, with me and my friend John, a very successful maker company with about getting on 40 people, it's six years old. And we make pretty circuit boards, and we have five laser cutters, a nice kind of 18 meter long PCB production line, and we're all about kind of taking the fear out, getting started, and making an electronics, uh, taking a canvas like a circuit board and making it not dull, making it fun, making it lovable. Because if we think this stuff is cool, and when we were younger, you kind of got derived from being a geek, and it was kind of like nerdy. How can you be nerdy about that? Apparently collecting football stickers is fine, but being nerdy yeah. about other things is not. And that's changing now, which is great. And part of that is making circuit board not green, not unfriendly, even though there's a very nice kind of culture there about how circuit boards end up the way they do. Um, but we've gone that way and we've grown from uh, some luck with the Raspberry Pi where I designed the logo. And we got cases and we decided they, they weren't right, they weren't good enough for this product that should be in everyone's hands. So I went to my local hack space when they got a laser cutter and hooked them until they let me use it. And 20 hours later, I had a viable case out of laser of Rainbow Perspex. And from that, we got one laser cutter, then we got two, three, four, five laser cutters. Then we stuck, did the UK's first Kickstarter, mainly because we wanted to do a Kickstarter. And from that, we built an arcade cabinet, which is very much for kind of nerdy white male makers, but good enough that other people actually got into it, which is good. And because of that rainbow thing of making fun, we've actually started making products more for kids, so we're covering kind of quite a range of people in our products. And recently, kind of all the things we've learned, because we're, I think we're technically about seven businesses in, in one now, we design, prototype, manufacture, distribute, e-commerce, and now we kind of outsource for other makers. So recently we've done a thing with Imogen Heap, which is a glove around micro bit, and we're there as the design, as the manufacturer and distributor, even though we didn't design the product as such. Uh, other people, we've just made the product. We've actually taken it back from China to assemble circuit boards for other makers, because they just don't have the headaches for making 100. So we're kind of, at the moment, developing a niche where we want to be the go-to people in Europe for one to 10,000 pieces for something. And we're getting kind of good at that, at kind of putting things in boxes, making them look right, making them feel good. Um, and making them appeal to different things. Uh, still haven't worked it out though, it's still early days, but uh, that's us with Pimeroni. Uh. <laughs>